Yo, 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 it's Nikhil Bot here, and today I'm gonna take you guys beneath the beat. Run that intro. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the drums, the bass, the synth, and everything for this new beat that I'm trying to make. And I'm just going to make it right here on the spot. So, let's get started. A great feature in Ableton is right here. Uh, it's the little tap button. I can tap with my finger and kind of get an idea of like, dum 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 how fast it would be, and then I can tap it out right here. So, one, two, three, four. I'll figure out that 170 is the BPM that I'm looking for. It'll snap to all of the pieces of the grid very properly. So let's try it again. I've just got four bars of this, right? So. Since I have them all together on one drum rack already, what I can do is I can use the overdub feature, which is this little plus sign right here. And when you click that, uh, recording over it won't mess up the kick sounds that you just put in there. So I can now just play the claps without worrying about losing what I did before. So let's try that. So. Let's add some hi-hats in there, and that'll kind of add a groove and a rhythm to it more than just the standard kick clap. All right, we got some hats in there. Let's go. All right, let's add, I like that sound. I like that sound a lot, so let's add that in. Let's reduce those drum volumes. It's way too lit in here, all right. Yeah, it's running around. Alright, the piano riff's got a really, really smooth vibe to it. So I'm gonna try to find a synth to put on top of it uh, that'll kind of bring that out and make it sound a lot nicer. So let's look for that. Not the right thing. Let's try an arpeggiator. Let's see what happens. We put a new pad up in the mix, so let me play that for you guys. Okay. All right, okay. So what I did just there is I made the arpeggiator really, really slow so it sounds more like a pad and it kind of flows. Beautiful. Let's move on to, maybe we can throw some bass in there. I've got Massive Open. I'm using a preset called Hood Rat. It sounds like old school hip hop, and this is the preset I usually start with and then tweak to my liking, uh, so you guys can check that out. Let me throw bass on. I think this is a really, really good start. I just have to arrange it now and make sure that it sounds good together and really sounds like a beat and flows like a beat. 
All right, well, that's the beat, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Beneath the Beat today. If you like this video, leave a like below and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Leave a comment about what you thought about the beat, about how it could improve the way I'm showing you guys this beat, and anything else you thought. And once again, keep going, because the grind don't stop. See you guys next time.